Hi guys, Dan the Jamaican here and I've got some Call of Duty Ghosts gameplay and if you're watching it means I'm on Thunderstruck Gaming. So this, this map as I'm sure all of you are aware is Octane and I'm playing Kill Confirmed, I love Kill Confirmed. I prefer it on Black Ops 2 but whatever. Um, in this video I'm going to be talking about what I like and dislike about the game, what I like about the Call of Duty community on YouTube and what I think is going to be what I hope is going to be released in the upcoming Call of Duties. So first of all, let's start with what I like and dislike about this game. Now the simple thing first is I dislike the maps. The maps are too big and the layouts for a lot of the maps aren't very good as well. So that's the first point I'm going to make. The second point I don't like about the game is the IEDs. I think a lot of you have to say that it's probably the worst lethal that's ever been in Call of Duty. So yeah big big hate for that um, there are many more things I'm just trying to think of it in my head now the point streaks are terrible in this game there's not that much variation and the only well there's two decent ones there's a juggernaut juggernaut sorry maniac and the helo pilot and then the guard dog is okay but it's really inconsistent and doesn't really function very well it has can have an incredible leap and it can be you know barely running at all so as I mentioned the inconsistency uh, and then the, the fourth factor which I'm not really keen on this game about is that um, I was gonna mention something and it's not coming out very well um, yes that was it the per um, the perks and create a class system that was it sorry about that uh, Basically, I think giving people the opportunity to put as many stealth perks into the, into their lay, um, loadout um, crit class is not a good idea. Basically, they should stick with the three perk system, I think, and possibly steal the idea from Triarch, having the uh, perk one greed, perk two greed, perk three greed, but you'd have to make the perks more balanced than what Triarch did. So that's my fourth criticism. Now I'm going to go into the positives of Call of Duty Ghosts. The weapon choice is actually decent, I think. I think people have been a bit harsh on them. Uh, the AK-12 is was a good weapon before the patch. I mean, it's still all right now. The Remington is decent. Um, the Hanley Badger I really like. So those are the guns which I think are really good. And I like the MTRX as well, personally. So there you go. Um, I think so. That's a that's a positive criticism. Um, and the other one is. There's not that much lag. The game actually runs decently smoothly. Uh, compared to Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, it runs really well actually. Um, and most, in fact, it's, it just runs pretty well, to be honest. So that's one thing I can say about this game, which is positive. Uh, another thing. Now, I'm going to move on to the Call of Duty community and what's going on on YouTube. Uh, it's quietened down a bit because Black Ops 2 was more of a success than Ghosts. It wasn't great, it had a lot of its failures, but more people were playing it than people play Call of Duty Ghosts. It seems that Call of Duty is is dying a bit. Um, it's not dead, it's still going to keep going I think for at least five years but it really is coming under a lot of pressure now Call of Duty because their rivals are getting better and yeah so hopefully they'll up their game but we'll see. Um, so that's really all I've got to say about that. I mean I I've enjoyed watching channels like JD from MY206, Mr. Soldier 1HD. I, I enjoy watching Thunder as well. He's great. Um, I watch El Presador. He's funny. So those are the sort of COD channels I watch mainly. I mean, there's Immortality as well. I've almost forgot him there. He's he's good to watch as well. He's got about he's got the least out of uh, subs out of the ones I mentioned. He's got 1,700, 1,800, I think, something like that. So he's doing pretty well. I mean decently for like not being on YouTube that long so he's done yeah anyway um, that's really all I've got to say about that that's you might be interested in a few of the channels I mentioned there but um, I'll, I'll probably leave them in the description yeah I think I will the links um, anyway the last thing I was gonna mention is yeah I've mentioned the what I like and dislike about the game I've mentioned YouTube, the YouTube community, and now I'm going to mention. Now I've recapped what I'm going to mention. Call it the upcoming Call of Duties and what features I hope they release and what features I hope they don't have in the game again. Now, 
I hope they have a balanced perk system as balanced as possible maybe going back to COD 4 was the most balanced actually I know you had Juggernaut jug yeah Juggernaut and you had Martyrdom uh, and there are a few other perks which are pretty beast but I mean they didn't ruin the game that much apart from possibly Juggernaut um, so yeah so maybe something like that I mean find a system that works and just do it and another thing I want to see is score streaks again I think they should find a way to improve the way they did score streaks but I want to see it in the game again uh, I agree with Thunder that the score streaks should be adjusted for team deathmatch and I agree with JD from MY206 that if you kill a person in kill confirmed you should get well you should get at least this is my sort of my take on it you should get at least 75 points out of the hundred out of the 50 for the kill so if someone else takes the tag I'll explain this probably someone else takes the tag one of your teammates takes it instead of you after you kill someone they get a hundred points but you should get 75 for getting the kill instead of however many it is it's not very many it's like 25 isn't it or something so yeah that's one thing they need to improve now what I don't want to see in the upcoming Call of Duties is big maps again and that was bad and another thing I don't want to see is you know overpowered weapons, overpowered snipers, overpowered shotguns I think people would enjoy it more if they have to use skill, you know like COD 4 snipers, COD 5 snipers you actually had to have a bit of skill to be able to even quick scope in those games um, and yeah basically I don't think many people will complain about that if people were sniping with quick scoping or hard scoping in those games, it wasn't as overpowered. So, yeah, don't really see a problem with that. But um, shotguns as well, they need to work on. Um, so yeah. So yeah, that's all. <laughs> Sorry about this. Pausing a lot, and I think uh, upcoming Call of Duty titles. I think a lot of people like zombies. I like zombies as well, uh, and I hope they keep the sort of simplistic factor they had in in Black Ops One and they get rid of this sort of building stuff and all this random stuff from Black Ops 2 for zombies which just didn't really work it was a decent idea I'm happy they put it into the game to be honest just to see what it's like but it didn't work and don't do it again basically is what I'd say uh, but at the end of the day it wasn't actually that bad the zombies it was probably better than World of War I think but Black Ops 1 is the king of zombies and I hope they find maps even better than that simplistic maps of maybe more perk ideas keeping the same perks as well really cool wonder weapons in 1080p HD on the PS4 or of course on the Xbox One they both run really well both systems so that would be great to see even on the PS3 and Xbox 360 it would be great to see so I'm really looking forward to that um, there's not really much more I can talk about uh, in this commentary apart from the uh, Call of Duty is really like it's on the edge it could really start exploding again and doing well if they get advertising right if they you know come in with good features that make the game look good again and compete then I think it'll be on the rise again but you know at the moment unless that happens soon in the next two years I think it really could almost be like 50,000 people online even on like the launch day it would only be like 90,000 I think if people if they just keep getting it wrong because people are just eventually going to be like well there are loads of other games to play which are you know better or just as good so why don't I give them a chance or why don't I just play them instead is what people are thinking um, and that's a really good idea you know fair enough so I think if, if Call of Duty improves their game then great everyone wins they win as well but I think it's going to be hard to see that I think there's going to be one good game once every two or three years one good Call of Duty game so it's just knowing when it's going to be um, so I don't know really I mean people have different opinions about what's a good Call of Duty I personally didn't really like Black Ops 1 felt it was a bit I just I don't know how to explain it it just had that kind of less exciting factor about the game I just don't know why I found it less exciting but anyway yep we lose the game I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary I'm Dan the Jamaican peace <laughs>